What would you do if a coworker responds rudely, totally out of the blue? Well, that's exactly what this caller was dealing with, and I give him a few tips to manage the situation. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to hear more live callers just like this one. Keith, welcome back to the show. I think you are our first caller ever on on uh, the Peace Building of Dr. Pollock show. So thanks for coming back. Wow, I feel honored by that. I feel like I set you guys off on the right tone. Definitely. Set you on your journey. And I'm <laughs> glad to see how far you've gone. I'm so glad to be back. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, well, thanks for coming back on. What's going on? Well, this is kind of related to what I asked last time about just how to deal with coworkers that are acting wacky. And specifically, <laughs> there was an incident when I was working on a movie set. I won't say what movie or anything, but there was a crew member who approached me about my facial hair because I have a beard for everyone that's listening. I don't know if you could hear it growing, but I said, oh, sorry, I, I can't trim my beard because of so-and-so. Before I could get the sentence out, she goes, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> like a three-year-old. Wow, okay. I couldn't believe it. And it was, this is what happened. I was like, oh, ma'am, I'm sorry. I can't. Nah, 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 nah. And I said, whoa. <laughs> Wait, this was, I mean, it, was this a, was this a co? This was also an actress, uh, an actor, or she was working no, in the production. This is a, a crew member that is, you know, I guess above me as far as you know the hierarchy, right. of course, you know. Okay. Uh, and I'm just a day player, and I was just so stunned. I almost just fell over. Yeah. I mean, I don't even understand. This is like we're on the playground. I mean, I ha I didn't even talk to kids like that when I was three or four, I would say, leave me alone, please. You know, I was very mature. So uh, my question to you is like how to navigate that, how to shut down somebody like that without stooping to their level. What was the aftermath? I mean, I'm just curious, like what, what happened? Because I'm, I'm a little confused as to her motivation. Was she like in a, was she upset with you or was she in a bad mood or did you get a sense? Yeah. Well, this is someone in the makeup department who she was told that I should be like clean shaven in this mm -hmm. role. And that is obviously something when you have a beard and you do acting, that's stuff that gets discussed way in advance Right. that you would uh, approve that. And it's your whole look. I mean, it's not like right. you can just willy nilly. Do. And I have other things that are filming and, you know, uh, continuity and so forth. Right. It's not something you just do on the fly and it would have to be like a lot of dough. If I'm really going to shave off my beard, I mean, that's insane. It's yeah, like yeah. saying, to, you know, it's a beautiful woman walks in with a head of hair and you say, I'm just going to shave your head right now. I mean, it's like insane. You know, that's not what we agreed on. Or I mean, literally just a mistake. I'm just trying to tell her, no, that's a mistake. Like, yeah. I'm not even arguing. Like, it's, it's not even up for discussion. And she immediately, uh, you know, rolls in with a nan in that voice. And she wasn't kidding. It's not like somebody that I know and we're bantering. Oh, you, you know, it's someone I never met. And she's in the makeup department, which funny enough, the makeup department deals with facial hair, not the hair department. They only deal with above the line, above the eyes. But it didn't seem like a confrontational environment or anything beforehand. Even a couple of buddies of mine were working on this thing. And right. It was like a cool vibe. And then all of a sudden, she pulls out this this crazy attitude. I, it just didn't make any sense to me. I was almost just like, is this a joke? I'm thinking like, there's this is like a practical joke. Yeah. Like, it's like what, that what? show where they see how mad you could get. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. What did you do yeah. after? What Did you say something to her after? Basically, I mean, I wasn't going to allow this to happen. So so I was just like, um, what, what are you doing? Like, are you serious? And she was like, she couldn't believe that I was mad at her. She couldn't believe that I wouldn't just take it. Yeah. You know? And I was like, um, no. And she's like, um, what do you mean? No. And I was like, whoa. All right. I just walked away. Honestly. Well, sometimes that might be the best thing. I mean, listen, yes. you know, film sets are, are a strange workplace. They're kind of different than a lot of workplaces. It's like everyone's an artist and they're all artists working together and they're different art forms trying to collaborate. So it's a little bit different than a normal workplace. But if you're thinking about just from a, a just a general workplace perspective, and you've got a coworker, I mean, she's not your supervisor. So it's just basically a coworker who kind of 
responds in some kind of mocking way or a rude way. She may not be in the right space, right headspace at that moment to have a conversation. So it's probably a good idea to kind of just brush it off a little bit, let it calm down. Um, you, I mean, if it was really you know rude, you, certainly you can stand up for yourself. There's no problem with that. But I think it, talking to her at a later point when she seems a little less frustrated or a little less annoyed, or maybe she was having a bad day, or maybe she just got other, you know, some other actor said something to her and it really pissed her off or something, you know, it probably wasn't about you. So maybe finding her at a different point and just touching base with her. And if you're motivated to improve the relationship, for instance, if you're like, I'm going to work with this person for the next six weeks. So you're motivated. If that's the case, then it could be worth having a conversation and just saying, hey, you know, just Notice that you were a little aggravated yesterday. I was wondering if that was about me or if, if, if everything's okay or is there anything else that was going on and just kind of touching base with her and letting her vent a little bit and talk and, you know, trying to build some rapport with her so that going forward you can – maybe she won't respond to you like that. She doesn't just see you as another actor with some issue that she's having to deal with or something like that. No, absolutely. Yeah, because, you know, to disengage, right, and to let things cool off and then – kind of come back later to check in, I think is great because the worst thing is like the heat of the moment. Cause I'm going to say something yeah. crazy yeah. and then I get fired and then we're in the parking lot, you know, throwing hands and it's <laughs> not the way you want to go, especially if, you know, you're going to be working on something for right. It could be days, it could be weeks yeah. and you don't want to get off on the wrong foot, but you also want to like stand up for yourself. So no, I do like that approach. It's just kind of like come back later. Anytime that you're going to give someone feedback on their behavior or their community, communication or something. Just remember, best way to give feedback is making like a two-way conversation. So it's it's not all about, hey, I'm going to tell you what you did wrong and bad and how to fix it. I, I'm going to basically come to you and I'm going to say, I noticed this happened. It made, it had this impact or this effect, you know, made me feel a little awkward or it was a little unproductive. And then you open it up just like, just, just wanted to see what's what was going on for you? I don't want to be another frustration for you. You know, so you're you're trying to really let her know that the behavior doesn't work for you, but also that you're aware of and considering her needs, her her goals, her values as well. Oh, that's great, man. Also, do you think that like, is it because you want to talk to this person when it initially happened? There's like a lot of people around. And there's yeah. uh, like more of that pressure and like everyone's watching yeah. and, uh, you know, you know how, how crazy it could be. And yeah. I was running around. Do you think it's better to like talk to them on the side, like alone where it's just low key? Or does that then seem like you're like, hey, let's take it outside or, or that somehow you're like, do you want kind of witnesses around? I mean, not like anything's going to pop off, but like, do you want kind of people around to see that this is 100 percent? Yeah, yeah. you, you want to have private conversations conversations with people so that yeah. they so that number one if they choose to be vulnerable in that moment with you it's easier for them because they can let their guard down and say you know what i was having a bad day or something and number two you don't want them to feel pressure or humiliated or embarrassed or something like that because that's that that's going to just put them on the defensive it's not going to be productive so 100 percent, you want to have private conversations if for some reason it didn't get better and you had that conversation you would then have another conversation maybe with her supervisor or your supervisor or bring them into the conversation or something but it's all again it's always in a private setting oh, that's, that's really good man. yeah i kind of wish i had done that <laughs> actually like gone back because basically what i did was just avoid the person are you still on the project or are you done with that one uh, no, this is a little while ago, um, but yeah, and everything worked out, you know, and we, yeah. I filmed my bit and I, you know, they didn't like not pay me or, you know, throw me off the set or sue me or anything. So, you know, it, it worked out in the sense that no harm came to anyone, but it didn't work out for me just having closure, you know, just, mm. just emotionally, mentally, like I still wonder to this day, like what the hell was going on with this person? But it's, yeah, you gave me some good insight there, man. I wish I could. Turn back time and uh, kind of like handle it a different way. But. So going forward, you feel like you have kind of a good plan for the next time. And I'll just I'll just do it like a quick recap, which is basically yeah. if you want to give someone feedback because their their behavior didn't quite work for you, it was a little unprofessional, something like that, you know, mm -hmm. pu pull them aside separately, privately so they can save face. They can hopefully feel like they can be a little vulnerable, potentially. You tell them what the behavior was that didn't work for them. You let them, and then you ask them what was going on for them. Let them talk so that they can get their position. And, and you let them know that you do care about what was going on for them. I mean, care is like the feeling of being cared for and caring towards someone. It's really key to conflict resolution. It's 
it's really core to building trust with people. So like if you know you're going to be working with this person, you want to build some trust and rapport with them, but you want to have a difficult conversation, you know, letting them know that, hey, I care about what's going on for you, too, is really important in those types of conversations. Wow. No, that is definitely uh, great advice, Doc. And if this ever comes up again, uh, hopefully, I don't know, if, <laughs> hopefully I don't attract that kind of energy. Yeah. But, uh, you know, if it comes up again, I'm going to handle it a little bit better, a little more maturely. Feel free to come back anytime and, and give us updates. I love to. A pleasure as always. Thank you, sir. Hey, thanks for tuning into the Peace Building with Dr. Pollock show. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more workplace conflict advice. Share on social media if you think your friends and colleagues would benefit from this episode. And if you have a workplace conflict and want to be a caller on our show for free coaching and advice, please email podcast at pollockpeacebuilding.com. Thanks.